Hello everyone, I would love to introduce you to VA Ninja Services. I am sure that most of you, especially the ones that have been dropshipping for a while, have suffered price increase at some point after sale before being able to purchase the item. So the process of placing all the orders manually can be very slow and frustrating sometimes. VA Ninja is here to do so for you. We have clever ninjas that are willing to process all your orders within seconds. It fulfills the order from Amazon immediately after the item is sold on eBay. So in this video, I will show you how to configure your VA Ninja account. To do so, we can start by clicking on login. So we access the login page and then we can choose create an account. Here we will be able to introduce our email address password and then confirm it. You introduce all your details and password and if you like to get notified once we integrate another supplier for auto ordering, please don't forget to click this box so we will keep you updated of all the upcoming news and you will be able to suggest some suppliers you would like in the auto ordering system. Once you do so, you can click on join with email. Once you've accessed your VA Ninja account, you will be asked to link your eBay store here. So we click on this warning and then it will ask me to introduce my eBay account details. So I do so. And once I've introduced my details, I click on sign in. Then I agree to the terms and conditions. And this way, I will have created my eBay store. So I would have linked my eBay store to VA Ninja. So now I will show you how to configure your channel settings. So I go to settings sections up here. So before entering the Amazon details to link your Amazon account, I will go through this section and explain you what each of these fields is about. From one side, we can see that we have our eBay account properly connected. And then we can see here that it says minimum profit. Your orders will not be processed unless you earn at least this minimum profit. So if the profit is lower than the minimum you set here, then your orders will show as pending and not be processed automatically. You can also see what each field means by clicking on the eye icon here on each section. Here we have the VAT section information. So these settings, you can enable or disable them depending on if you want to include VAT on your profit or product price. So you can enable and disable these features and you will have more detail about it here. Here we have auto ordering, auto dispatch and auto tracking. Auto ordering is for your orders to be processed automatically. This means that when an item is sold on eBay, VA Ninja will access eBay and process the order. If you don't enable this feature, it will show as pending and you can order it manually. After dispatch means that when the order is dispatched on Amazon, it will be marked as dispatched back on your eBay store. And then when you purchase an item from Amazon, then Amazon assigns a tracking number to that item. So we have an auto tracking system that converts that tracking number into another item ID. Why do we do so? Because that number is the one that we upload on eBay. And this way, eBay does not know that the item you're selling comes from Amazon. So we always recommend that if you have the auto dispatch feature enabled, you enable auto tracking too. You will see that you are only able to enable auto tracking once the auto dispatch is also enabled. I will now uh, explain you all how to link your Amazon account. So we can click on Amazon over here and then we click on add user credentials. Now we can start linking our Amazon account. The first thing we can do is introduce our login details. 
it asks us for the email, the password, then we can choose the payment type if we want to use credit card, gift or both and introduce all the information from our Amazon account. Please, it's very important that when you do so, you introduce exactly the same information that is in your Amazon account. Otherwise, your account will not properly be linked to VA Ninja. So we introduce all our details. And then once we have introduced all the details, please remember to click on save before clicking on verify now. Otherwise, the, the, verif the verification might not be correct. So we do so, then we click on verify now. Now we will see that we receive an Amazon verification code. You can receive this verification code by email or on a phone number, depending on your Amazon configuration. So please see what your configuration alert uh, is directed to in, in Amazon and then you make sure that you're checking it in the right place to configure your account. Then you will be able to enter the code and your account would be properly linked. Okay, so I will explain you now uh, all these features on the right side here. First of all, price alert is used I will now explain you all the fields on the right side here. So price alert is to set a price to prevent the system from buying very expensive items. For example, if your price alert is 500 and then the item is sold by more than that value, then the system will not automatically buy that item until you review it manually. Then we have the shipping speed. We can choose different type of shipping speeds and we can choose between no rush. This takes up from three to five days and then standard or expedited, which is one day delivery, which is the shipping speed we would like to use by default. And then here we have a phone number. Amazon requires a phone number presented for all the orders. So we will introduce here the phone number we wish to use for all the Amazon delivery. Here we have a section that says always use this number. This means that if we enable it, we will use the number we have set on the previous field and never use the customer's number. If we don't introduce a number here, the customer's number will be used by default. We also have the mark as give section. We always recommend to mark it and enable this section. Uh, why? Because when you mark this section, it prevents sometimes Amazon packaging on the outside. And as we are selling Amazon items on eBay, this uh, Amazon packaging could just introduce some complaints from the users. And if we want to avoid it, we always suggest you mark as a gift option. Then we can choose a message here, for example, thank you, uh, thank you, we hope you like it, or just choose the message you wish to write down. And then here we have a field that says seller list. The seller whitelist, uh, we can select it if we want to purchase from certain sellers only. So we can just click here edit whitelist and write down the sellers we would like to purchase our item if you have any preferences. If you write down sellers here, the system will only buy items from that sellers. Okay, so you just configure all the settings according to your objectives and what you want. And then once you have done so, make sure that it says saved and then we will be able to go on to the next step. You will see that you have a Smith's option here. I would like to say that the Smith's auto-ordering is in beta right now, but if you would like to give it a try, you can do so. You can add your Smith's UK account information here and link your Smith's account. If you have any problems with this, you can always come back to us and ask us for the stages of this integration. But we will soon be able to do Smith Toys auto-ordering. So now I will show you how you can see all your dashboard information. So you go to your homepage and you will 
be able to see your dashboard. Here you have information about all the orders that have been processed by the system, the ones that are currently running, if there was one, the ones that have been completed, and then some that might have some errors. In order to see this information into more detail, we can click on the cell section, and then here we will be able to see all the information from our items. Okay, uh, you have information here regarding the date, the sale, the, the source ID, the quantity sold, how much you've sold it for, the cost of it, profit, everything. So here on the right side, you will see that uh, it has the status of each item. Marked maybe has dispatched, alert. In this case, it would be, for example, if you've configured a price alert on your settings, uh, then the item is sold for a higher price, then you will be able to see it in alert stage. You click on the item and then you will have all the information about it. And on the top, we have different filters. For example, if you're interested in seeing the items that have shown an error, we click here and we can see different items with error. Some of them are not even error, are just alerts you have set. So you need to review these items before BI Ninja processes them automatically. And if there's a specific error for that item, you will be able to see it here. Okay, so we can go to all section where we can see all our items. And here at the top, we will be able to see three different buttons. One of them says import. This is useful when you have automatic ordering disabled or if you've just joined VA Ninja. What does it do? If you click on import, you will be able to select last hour's order, last hour's order, last eight hour's order, and different types. So if you choose one and click on import, VA Ninja will automatically import all that information from your eBay account to your VA Ninja settings. And then you have an export button if you're interested on in exporting all this information. So this is all about sales. Here uh, at the top, it will say how many tokens you have left on your account. When you join the server, you will be able to, to have 10 tokens for free. So you can try 10 deliveries completely for free with VA Ninja software. And then if you're interested in purchasing more tokens, you can click on purchase tokens. And then you have three option packs here. You can purchase 100 tokens, 2000 or 500. You choose the option you wish. And then it will lead you to, uh, to the the card where you can introduce your card information, your number on card or your country region. Once you've paid for the tokens, you will be able to see the amount sums up to your tokens that are left here on the top corner. Okay, so this is all the main information you need to know to start up using the VA Ninja. Don't forget that you have a, a way to contact us through here in this email icon. So if you press here, you will be able to email us and ask us for any further help you may need on this matter. Before I end up this video, I would like to remark that please, uh, you need to be aware that BA Ninja only works with Amazon Prime items. This means that if sometimes you can find the Amazon that VA Ninja buys on uh, Amazon for a lower price, it's because BA Ninja only purchases prime items. This most of the time gives a faster delivery, but uh, sometimes you will be able to find this as non-prime with other condition, other shipments, but for some of you it's interesting that you know that. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, we hope you like this system and please any feedback you may have on this will be more than welcome. Bye!